Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be discussing the Kramer's rule again. So it has been mentioned close to three times. So you can expect a question coming out of from this. Now this is the general form of equations where there are n equations and n variables. This is the right hand side. The quotients a one one, a one two till a one n and a n one. These are the the a matrix, which is also called as the quotient matrix. Now, d j is defined when we remove the jth column. So similarly, d one would be defined when we remove this column and replace it with the right hand side, which was the b matrix. And similarly, d j will remove the jth column and replace it with beta one, beta two, b two till b n, and a solution would exist in this case. A unique solution would exist when a determinant is not equals to zero. Then there would exist a unique solution because we know x one equals to d one upon a determinant, d two upon a determinant, and d n upon a determinant. So the denominator should not be zero, and in this particular case, we'll have a unique solution. Okay, example thirteen point two one. Examine for which values of p the following system of equations has solutions and find the solution. So if we want to check whether the solution exists or not, first thing, the a matrix is given as p. One, zero. Then one minus one, two. Then zero one minus one. So this is a matrix. The b determine b is given as one zero three, and x is given as x y z. Now solution would exist when. We have already studied when a determinant is not equals to zero. So a determinant expanding along this row, a determinant comes out to be p times minus one into minus one minus two minus of one times minus one. So this is p into one minus two plus one. So this is. Minus p plus one. This is one minus p. So this should not be equal to zero. And in that, if a determinant is not equals to zero, we have a solution would exist. So basically, p should not be equal to one. So if p is not equal to one, then a determinant is not equal to zero. That is, it is not a singular matrix. And in that case, a solution would exist. Right now, moving forward, what the value of x would be? So we have, <coughs> sorry, x is d one upon a determinant. So a determinant was coming out to be one minus p. So d one is. This as the first column one zero three, one minus one, two and remaining are the quotients of a matrix only upon one minus p. So this is coming out to be expanding through this row, one into one minus two minus one times minus three upon one minus p. So this is one minus two minus one plus three upon one minus p, which is two upon one minus p. So this is the value of x. The value of y would be d two upon a determinant. So d two in this case would be. So this would be a determinant. It is p one zero. P one zero. 
then the this right hand side 103 and then 0 1 minus 1 upon a determinant which is 1 minus p so this becomes p times minus 3 minus 1 time minus 1 upon 1 minus p so this is minus 3p plus 1 upon 1 minus p so basically 1 minus 3p upon 1 minus p and z becomes d3 by a determinant so d3 in that case would be 1 minus 1 2 and the right hand side 1 0 3 so this becomes p times minus 3 we'll expand through this column because the calculation would be easier minus 1 times 3p upon 1 minus p so this becomes minus 3p minus 3p minus 6p upon 1 minus p so these are the solution that we are getting okay now moving forward homogeneous system of equations we say a set of equations are homogeneous when ax the quotient matrix times the variable matrix equals to 0 when the right hand side which we discussed as b if it is 0 then it is a homogeneous system of equations so the general form would be a11 x1 plus a one n x n is zero a n one x one till a n n x n equals to zero. So this system where the right hand side is zero throughout, so this is a homogeneous system of equations. A trivial solution means for a given homogeneous set of equations when x1 equals to x2 equals to xn equals to 0 when the system of equation is being satisfied only when x1 equals to x2 equals to xn equals to 0 then we say it is a trivial solution a non-trivial solution means that not all the xi's not all xi's are 0 so there are some xi's which are not equals to 0 and still and there are a solution to this system of equation as well so a non-trivial solution exists only when a determinant is 0 so you should note this down when a determinant is 0 only in that case only in that case the non-trivial solution would exist okay examine for which values of lambda the following system of equations has non-trivial solution so we know a non-trivial solution would exist when a determinant is equals to 0 so this equation can be written as 5 minus lambda times x plus 2y plus z equals to 0 second equation can be written as 2x plus 1 minus lambda y plus 0 equals to 0 third equation can be written as x plus 0 plus 1 minus lambda z equals to 0 so if you look at the right side right hand side has become 0 so it is a homogeneous system of equations okay now the a matrix is 5 minus lambda 2 1 2 1 minus lambda 0 1 0 1 minus lambda now if a determinant comes out to be 0 then we have that 
a non trivial solution would exist so expanding along this column or this row should make sense so suppose we expand it along this row so this is 1 into 2 into 0 minus 1 into 1 minus lambda then minus 0 times this plus 1 minus alpha 1 minus lambda times 5 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda minus 4 so this becomes 1 into 0 then we have minus 1 plus lambda plus 1 minus lambda times 5 minus 5 lambda minus lambda plus lambda square minus 4 so this is coming out to be minus 1 plus lambda plus 1 minus lambda times 1 minus 6 lambda plus lambda square so this is nothing but 1 minus 1 plus lambda plus 1 minus 6 lambda plus lambda square minus lambda plus 6 lambda square minus lambda cube equals to 0 so this 1 and 1 cancels out so we will take lambda common we have 1 minus 6 plus lambda minus 1 plus 6 lambda minus lambda square equals to 0 now this cancels out so we are left with lambda minus lambda square plus 6 lambda so 6 lambda plus lambda so basically plus 7 lambda so we are left with minus minus lambda square plus 6 lambda plus lambda plus 7 lambda and then minus 6 equals to 0 so this would happen when either this term is 0 or this term is 0 so this gives us for lambda equals to 0 or when lambda is so when lambda square minus 7 lambda plus 6 is also 0 so it would be lambda would take value minus b so 7 plus minus b square minus 4ac so 4 into 24 4 into 6 24 upon 2 so this is 7 plus minus 5 by 7 minus 5 by 2 is 1 and 7 plus 5 by 2 is 6 so when lambda equals to 0 1 and 6 what we have is then a determinant would be equals to 0 and in that case there would exist non-trivial solution they would have non-trivial solution when lambda is 0 1 and 5 or 6 whatever we found 6 so in that case the non-trivial solution would exist and with this we have completed chapter 13 we have already completed chapter 12 in the next video we will discuss some practice questions which I expect you to solve practice questions and for the same I will be posting I will be making a whatsapp group for the same and I'll be posting the practice questions on the group itself and you can just upload your answer on that so that we can verify whether the questions that we are solving is solving are correct or not okay so we'll move with chapter 14 in the next class or next to next class in the next class we are doing practice questions okay thank you